Yüzünde gördüm Olen camur Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> can you hear me, Tim? I can hear you perfectly, Madam Chairperson. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon to everyone in the Secretariat. Is ADG there as yet? Yes, he yes. is. He is there. Good morning, good afternoon, Ernesto. <laughs> Welcome once again. It is a pleasure to see you all. 
As you will recall yesterday, we worked quite intensely together and finished the examination of item seven. We also heard from the evaluation body with its oral report and deb debated on this topic. Finally, we started the examination of item 8A, having concluded on decision 8A1 and 8A2. Shortly before today's session, the Bureau met for the second time and proposed the following revised timetable that has been published online. We will start today's session by continuing our examination of item 8A. Namely, we will resume our debate and draft decision 8A3 and move on to 8A4. We will then continue as originally planned with item 8B on the examination of nominations for inscription on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Distinguished delegates, we still have an important amount of work to accomplish together. For this reason, today in the Bureau meeting, we agreed on a new working method as follows. Whenever there is an amendment with one or more co-sponsors, I will ask everyone who wishes to join the amendment to raise their hand. Anyone who does not wish to join should ensure their hand is lowered. I will then ask the secretary to read out the names of all of the co-sponsors. In this way, we can ensure that the co-sponsor names will be included in the summary records for the meeting. After the list has been read out loud, I will ask that all the co-sponsors lower their hands. At that time, I can then give the floor to anyone who may still want to intervene. Of course, this methodology takes place within the framework of the gentleman's agreement and decision-making procedures that I have explained earlier. I'm sure that you will agree with me that this working method will allow us to save time and advance our debates. We will also continue to use a timer during the debates. And I ask you to conclude your intervention when the time limit is reached. And I will repeat, we will continue to use a timer during the debate. And I ask you to conclude your intervention when the time limit is reached. If you all agree, then I think we're ready to begin. Let us start with 15.com883, the combined nomination as proposed by Egypt. We were discussing the amendment on the U3 proposed by 14 committee members. Could the secretariat please display the amendment? The list of speakers that we established for this amendment includes many names. Japan, Morocco, Azerbaijan, Jamaica, Republic of Korea, Brazil, Djibouti, Peru, and China. Let us use the methodology that I've just explained to see whether all of the requests for the floor are to support the amendment so that we can move quickly. So may I ask only those states wishing to support the amendment to raise their hand? I would like to ask the secretary to read out the name of those supporting the amendment. We are watching the raised hands and we'll read them as soon as we do the finish. Madam Chair, so I have the following raised hands. Japan, Kazakhstan, Peru, Sri Lanka, Djibouti, Brazil, Kazakhstan, Peru, Panama, Morocco, China, 
Poland. Botswana. Botswana. Uh, Botswana, sorry. Okay. Okay, now she has Yeah, because. And Hello? Kuwait. Hello? Yes. Kuwait. Kuwait. Sorry, I didn't read Kuwait. Allow me to read again. Uh, now, this is separate, just for clarification. The lists, the names of the countries that are already on the draft amendment have well been recorded. They were submitted with the draft amendment. So we are looking for countries that are not on that name. But anyway, let me read. Just to clarify, in case that somebody is not there, I have Botswana, Kuwait, Japan, Kazakhstan, Peru, Djibouti, Brazil, again Peru because there's a second person, Panama, Morocco, China, Poland, Jamaica, and Azerbaijan. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. Are there any members who wish to intervene for reasons oh, other sorry. than supporting the amendment? Madam Chair, Sri Lanka also has their hand raised. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. Okay. Are there any members who wish to intervene for reasons other than supporting the amendment? Yes, please. Madam Chair? Yes, go ahead, Tim. Perhaps you could ask those members now who wish to support the amendment to lower their hands so that anybody else who wishes to speak for another reason may raise their hand. Uh, so members... Thank you. And if there are members, any members who wish to intervene for reasons other than supporting the amendment, uh, please so indicate. Cote d'Ivoire, madam. Please, I recognize you, Cote d'Ivoire. Please go ahead. Cote d'Ivoire, please take the floor. La Côte d'Ivoire soutient aussi l'amendement, cet amendement qui est proposé. Merci, Madame la Présidente. Vous m'entendez? Thank you. Thank you, Côte d'Ivoire. OK. OK. I see that this amendment enjoys an active broad support. Let us then adopt paragraph one, criteria U1 and U2 as initially proposed, as well as criterion U3 as shown on the screens. Are there any objection? I see none, therefore U3 is adopted as amended. Criterion U4 has not 
been amended. Can we adopt it as shown on the screen? I see no objection, so we will adopt. Criterion U5 has an amendment proposed by 14 committee members. Any objection? Adopted as amended. Before we go on any further, I see that the Secretariat would like to make a suggestion. Mr. Curtis, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. And I'm taking the floor now to explain something for the, for the future of, the, uh, of this item as well, in line with the committee's practice in the past few cycles. I'd like to propose some adjustments so that the structure of the decision would be similar to decisions taken by the committee in its past sessions. And you will see here that criteria U1, U2, and U4 have not been amended and would remain under paragraph 2 as initially proposed. Criteria U3 and U5, which have been amended, would be moved to a new paragraph 3 under a standard paragraph used by the committee most recently at the 14 com last year. And this standard paragraph reads as follows. Further decides that based on the information provided by the state party to the committee at its present session, the following criteria for inscription on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity is satisfied. In fact, I have discussed this with members who proposed this amendment and a number of other amendments that we have received so far. I understand that all concerned are comfortable with this proposal. If this is agreeable to the committee, I would ask my colleagues from the secretary to include this new paragraph so that the committee can examine it and we would also be ready to implement the same approach uh, should the committee propose to amend other draft decisions under this item. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. Thank you for this proposal. I think it is indeed important for us to remain consistent with the committee's past practice. Is there any objection? I don't see any objection, so may I therefore ask the Secretariat to implement this proposal? So the decision will be displayed on the screen. So Mr. Curtis, we are awaiting the display of the decision on the screen, am I right? It is on its way. Um, Madam Chair, please excuse us. We just need a minute uh, to, to, yeah, get, to get you. it running. We have it, Madam Chair. Thank you. So we are now ready to continue our examination of the decision. Can we now adopt paragraph two as a whole? Adopted. Paragraph three has the standard wording proposed by the Secretariat and includes criteria U3 and U5, which we already adopted. Can we adopt paragraph three as shown on the screens? Adopted. 
Could we adopt paragraph four as amended? No objection, adopted. I understand that Netherlands has an amendment. Netherlands, please take the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, with an eye on the just adopted amendments on the one hand and the concerns raised by the eval evaluation body on the other, we would propose a new paragraph five. And should I read it? Yes, please go ahead. Requests the state party to submit for the next four years after inscription biannual reports on the results of the measures taken to ensure the safeguarding of the elements and invites the state party to ensure that a product oriented approach, approach focused on marketing and commercialization is avoided and that the safeguarding of the cultural meanings and social functions of the element and the participation of the community are prioritized, highlighted, and clearly described in the biennial reports. Thank you. Thank you, Netherlands. Can we see the proposal of Netherlands on the screen? Thank you. Can we adopt the proposal of Netherlands? There are no objections. Madam Chair, Panama is requesting the floor. Can you hear me? Please go ahead. Yes, Panama, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, this is a very important proposal from the Netherlands, but since it has come to us at this moment, and there will be other um, nominations that has been referred that will be contested, I would suggest that this paragraph be kept on hold until we decide further in the debates what to do with the proposal, because I would like to think that this does not apply only to the situation with this nomination. This is a new request for the state party in relation to the biennial reports that would have to be submitted. Many other countries will be in the same situation and I would suppose that this is not only in the case of this one. Therefore, I would suggest not to adopt this resolution or this decision with this additional paragraph at this time and kept the proposal of the Netherlands to be decided at the end of our debates by Friday or Saturday morning afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Panama. I will ask the secretariat uh, to reply, after which I will ask Jamaica and Czechia to take the floor as they've indicated they want to intervene. So I'll ask uh, Mr. Curtis, please. Uh, Madam Chair, I'm, I'm not sure I can reply as to whether or not this paragraph should be adopted. Uh, that is for the committee members to decide. On the procedure, normally once the decision is taken, it is taken. We do not come back and open it again. Um, and I, if I may, I, do, I am not sure we'll have time to be coming back to individual decisions at the end. We, we're already around time. However, either the whole decision is suspended until this is sorted out, but we cannot adopt the decision and then come back and reinsert the paragraph. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. And I ask that. Jamaica, please go ahead and take the floor, as indicated. Thank you, Madam Chair. 
Uh, Jamaica just wishes to note that um, thanking Netherlands for its intervention, but this has implications for the new reporting mechanism. And I, I, I don't know to what extent it would affect that process, which as you know, um, is being implemented this year. Thank you, Madam Chair. Sure. Thank you, Jamaica. Check here. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Um, my understanding of this proposal of the Netherlands is that this relates really to this urgent safeguarding uh, problem, not to other nominations, because we are having only Namibia ahead of us, and uh, this biannual reporting would not be pertinent for the representative list. But in the past, it had been taken, I think this decision had been taken in the past by the committee to ask the state party when there were doubts about the sustainability or effectiveness of the safeguarding measures, but still the, the element was inscribed. Uh, so the committee decided, please, uh, Egypt, could you come earlier than in four years and tell us how this plan has been working? I think that's the point of the whole thing and it would not relate to any other files because um, there would not be the same situation with the representative list files. That's why like, Czechia is able to support the Netherlands proposal. Thank you, Czechia. Saudi Arabia. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, the question here is uh, raised to a number of uh, countries and members. First of all, I would like to thank Netherlands for their proposal. Um, and we understand uh, that their aim to safeguard and protect uh, this element, uh, they have added this uh, clause. But um, uh, looking now at this, and the question now is to the Secretariat as well, and Mr. Curtis, if you can please answer. Um, Adding this now, uh, is it uh, really going to be conducive to accepting all folders or not? That's number one. And number two, um, is it something that can be solved uh, without jeopardizing uh, the, our time and effort that we are having uh, here today? Because as I see, the discussion is, will keep going on now, and I don't think it will stop anytime soon. Uh, so well, we would like to hear your advice, um, uh, Mr. Curtis. I know that uh, you, you want to stay, um, you want to keep it to the committee to discuss this, but uh, please, we would like to hear from you uh, in this regard. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Saudi Arabia. Sri Lanka, uh, please state the floor. Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. I, uh, we agree with the Chishia's uh, uh, suggestion and we support um, uh, the Netherlands uh, amendment. Uh, I think it's a very timely thing and this kind of matters have to be uh, considered on case by case basis and it applies very well to this particular nomination. Thank you. Thank you, Sri Lanka. Switzerland, the floor is yours. Merci, Madame la Présidente. Nous saluons la, la proposition euh, faite par les Pays-Bas et nous soutenons l'amendement tel qu'il a été affiché sur l'écran. Concernant le souci du, exprimé par le Panama et par d'autres délégations, nous partageons l'interprétation faite par la Tchéquie que cette, euh, cette exception à la règle s'applique uniquement aux candidatures euh, destinées pour la liste du sauvegarde, de la sauvegarde d'urgence. Merci. Thank you. Thank you, Switzerland. I will now give the floor to the Secretariat at the end of the list of the following speakers. Kuwait, Poland, Panama, Sweden. I will now give the floor to Kuwait. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, first of all, let me thank the Netherlands for, for their uh, uh, amendment. But I think as we had in the previous meeting, you know, and I'd like to echo what Jamaica said, we don't want to change the reporting mechanism. 
uh, we have a trust in the state parties to follow up the procedure. So I think, you know, Kuwait thinks, you know, changing the reporting mechanism is, is uh, not uh, wise at this time. Uh, we can mention, you know, is the state party to make sure the part of commercialization is be uh, looked into it. But the reporting mechanism, I think, should be state as it is. Uh, so Kuwait, you know, don't agree with the, with the addition. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Kuwait. Poland, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Poland wishes to express um, gratitude for the delegation of Netherlands for submitting the proposal of the amendment. Uh, we would like to um, point out that we are dealing with an element uh, which is uh, requested to be inscribed for the um, uh, urgent safeguarding uh, list. Uh, and uh, the decision further uh, expresses um, the uh, agreement for the international assistance for Egypt. So for that reason, Poland uh, wishes to thank uh, also the distinguished delegation of Czechia for uh, giving uh, the additional information. And for that reason, uh, we would also like to support uh, this uh, amendment. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Panama, the floor is yours. Thank you, <clears throat> Madam Chair. I just would like to know if we are changing the rules in this sense of the biennial reports. Can the secretariat respond to me if with this proposal, are we changing the criteria for the following biennial reports? Thank you. Thank you, Panama. Uh, Sweden, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Uh, very quickly, we concur with what has been stated by first and uh, foremost the Netherlands, uh, then Czechia, uh, Sri Lanka, that I don't see uh, on the list, but I understood that they also support this amendment, Switzerland and Poland. So Sweden would like to add its voice in support for this amendment. Thank you. Thank you, Sweden. Uh, Brazil and Botswana also indicated that they wish to take the floor. So I will now recognize Brazil. Gracias, señora presidenta. Buenos días a todos. He escuchado con gran atención este debate que me parece muy importante. Eh, Brasil no estimularía este debate a esta altura, sobre todo porque tenemos problemas de tiempo y eh, ya, ya existe un sistema de informaciones que deben ser eh, presentadas por los Estados miembros cuando tienen eh, elementos inscritos en la lista de eh, safeguard, urgent safeguarding. No nos parece que es el momento de crear un segundo sistema eh, en, en estas condiciones de discusión. Por lo tanto, eh, la posición de Brasil es no estimular este tipo de debate en este momento. No en tanto, creo que podemos pensarlo en la próxima, en la próxima reunión del comité. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Brazil. Uh, Botswana? Uh, thank you, <coughs> Chairperson. We are happy to see you in the chair. Uh, <coughs> if, uh, if we look at the operational guidelines, and unless I'm interpreting it incorrectly, the aspect of commercialization is part of the sustainability element. And I thought that for, for such elements to, to be sustainable, they need some form of uh, commercialization. Um, but Swana, I'll, I'll please uh, hold for a moment. We have a point of order from Kuwait. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, as from the discussion, I would like for the Secretariat, please, some state parties requested to remove this paragraph so it should be on the screen uh, is the, uh, the point of view of the state parties not happening. So all what I see in front of me is the Netherlands and we have intervention saying, you know, it's, we, are not, we don't agree with the changing of the reporting mechanism. And I've heard some of the state parties. So we should have on the screen 
that option so people can understand or more understand the discussion, please. Thank you, madam. Thank you, Kuwait, uh, noted. Uh, we will ask Botswana to continue. Okay. Botswana? Madam Chair, we would like to support the views expressed by colleagues from Kuwait and Panama and others who says that this would be changing the reporting mechanism and we would rather not go for this amendment. Thank you. Thank you. Kuwait? Kuwait, Morocco, Peru, you've also asked to take the floor. So, um, we will uh, Morocco. Morocco, please go ahead and take the floor. Merci, Madame la Présidente. Très rapidement, je voudrais simplement souscrire à ce qui a été dit par l'ambassadeur du Koweït, par mes collègues de Panama et du Brésil. Euh, tout en remerciant euh, évidemment le, la délégation des Pays-Bas, mais je ne pense pas que ce soit opportun pour le moment. Merci beaucoup, Madame la Présidente. Je voudrais que le nom du Maroc soit, soit, figure aussi sur la liste avec le Koweït, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Thank you, Morocco. Uh, Peru, are you wish to take the floor? Please go ahead. Sí, Presidenta, muchísimas gracias. Muy buenos días con todos y con todas. El Perú suscribe que no debe incluirse esta enmienda, que agradecemos a los Países Bajos, eh, por las dos razones que han sido expresadas. En primer lugar, porque cambia el mecanismo de presentación de los informes en relación a la lista de salvaguardia urgente, y eso debe ser objeto de un debate a profundidad, y no de una decisión en relación a un elemento específico. Y en segundo lugar, eh, respaldar también lo que ya acaba de ser dicho, y es que los elementos del arte tradicional han sido siempre objeto de comercialización desde tiempos inmemoriales, han sido objeto de trueque o de cambio, ¿no es cierto?, entre comunidades eh, a partir de cada producción de cada comunidad. Entonces, la comercialización ha acompañado siempre la creación artística tradicional. Y en el Perú consideramos que la búsqueda de nuevos mercados, ¿no es cierto?, para el arte tradicional, es una forma de salvaguardia, es una forma de garantizar la continuidad de los conocimientos ancestrales, que es lo que nos preocupa en la Convención para la Salvaguardia. No hay que eh, demonizar, no hay que satanizar la comercialización, obviamente no es el fin de la salvaguardia, pero es parte de la salvaguardia. Gracias, Presidenta. Thank you, thank you. Colleagues, I will ask Mr. Curtis to take the floor after Djibouti has um, intervened. They have indicated that they would like to intervene. And so Djibouti, please go ahead. After which I will ask the Secretariat to make our comments. Est-ce qu'on m'entend On vous entend Merci, très bien. Madame la Présidente, je vais être bref. C'était juste pour me joindre aux propos de la délégation de Koweït, du Maroc, du Botswana et euh, dernièrement ce qui a été euh, dit euh, par la délégation de Pérou. Merci beaucoup et j'aimerais bien que Djibouti figure euh, sur la décision pour biffer euh, l'amendement présenté par les Pays-Bas. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Mr. Curtis? Thank you, Madam Chairperson. I think there was uh, a question from uh, Panama and from Saudi Arabia which were interrelated. It is true, as was said by the uh, delega delegation of Czechia, that there is a precedent for such, uh, such an amendment. Uh, I don't have it at the top of my head, but 
Indeed, in the case of an urgent safeguarding uh, file, the committee has asked for an interim report uh, on uh, uh, before, so it will, would not be the first time. This does not, in a way, affect the overall reporting insofar as states, uh, state parties are required to report every four years on the urgent safeguarding list, on their elements on the urgent safeguarding list as a separate reporting mechanism to the periodic reporting. The periodic reporting on the implementation of the convention includes reports on the representative list elements. So, in this case, the implications, if I may, of this decision is that the submitting state would have to report in once in two years and then it would be back to its normal cycle which would be, it would have to report in two years, it would then report four years, two years after that, which would have been its normal four-year reporting, and then every four years thereafter. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. Uh, Japan has asked to take the floor. Go ahead, Japan. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam uh, Chairperson. Um, well, we, we are not uh, here to intervene uh, in either side of the, these positions, but I, I was just wondering if uh, something like that could help. And if it does help, uh, I think it can be a proposal. Um, if you look at the draft proposal from Netherlands, uh, the second half, after the part, and invites the state party to ensure that, and then towards the end. This uh, particular, uh, you know, uh, this particular part may be a little bit too inscriptive in a way. So perhaps uh, as a decision, we can stop before and, uh, and then perhaps uh, the point of view expressed in the second part of this proposal uh, can be recorded as, you know, as, a, as a statements made by certain countries in the record of this meeting. I hope this can uh, settle the differences. Thank you. Thank you, Japan. Members, I understand that the proposal of Netherlands does not enjoy active support, broad support, and therefore we will not include this new paragraph. As there is no amendment on other remaining paragraphs, would the committee be ready to directly adopt the entire decision as a whole? Madam Chair, Netherlands is asking for the floor. Please go ahead, Mr. Curtis. Yes. Uh, I think Tim referred to me. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, I was wondering if there's active broad support for the compromise that Japan suggested. May I ask all those who are supporting uh, the proposal by Japan to raise your hands? And I would ask um, the secretary to read the list, please, of those who have raised their hands. Madam Chair, at the moment I read Switzerland, Netherlands, Sweden, Czechia, Japan, and Poland.
Uh. Kuwait, uh, you have a point of order. Please go ahead. Yes, can we see what's Japan proposing, please? So people can, you know, decide. Thank you. So as I understand, oh, sorry. Madam Chair, may I? May I check that we understand properly the amendment of the proposal of Japan, uh, which I understood was to delete the rest of the sentence after and invites. To delete all of that. And if I may, I would read what the proposal, and if I'm wrong, please, uh, the delegation of Japan may wish to uh, inform me. The proposal, the paragraph would then read, request the state party to submit for the next four years after inscription biennial reports on the results of the measures taken to ensure the safeguarding of the element. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, excuse me, Madam Chair. I have uh, another suggestions to add. You know, Please go ahead. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Uh, you know, as far as the paragraph is concerned, paragraph of the decision is concerned, that is right. And in addition to that, the viewpoints expressed in the second half of this uh, draft can be recorded uh, in, the, in the record of discussions of this particular meeting. That is another suggestion that I, I wanted to make. Thank you. Thank you, Kuwait. Oh, that, um, I'm sorry. Thank you, Japan. Uh, Kuwait wants to take the floor. Yes, just, you know, Madam Chair, you know, trying to get consensus and try to move forward. Uh, after what I, now I see what Japan is proposing, uh, we have no problem with the Japan, just to meet in the middle and to move forward. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. I'll ask the secretariat. So at this uh, stage, we also uh, have then the Japanese proposal supported by, uh, sorry, I'm a little bit confused. I understand that the supporting, I think, allow us to get the, the screen cleared because what I understand at this stage, we have proposals from Japan supported by Swiss, Switzerland, Netherlands, Sweden, Japan, Czechia, Poland, and now Kuwait. Perhaps, Madam Chair, we could use a methodology and all of those who support Morocco. I also see Morocco supporting. Saudi Arabia has, again, those who wish to support the Japanese amendment, could you please raise your hands in the chat? We have Morocco, Botswana, Sri Lanka, Switzerland, Saudi Arabia, Netherlands, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, Sweden. Jamaica, Djibouti, Rwanda, Brazil.
I see that the proposal of Japan enjoys broad support. So can we adopt it? So we will adopt. So we will adopt paragraph five as amended. As there is no amendment on other remaining paragraphs, would the committee be ready to directly adopt the entire decision as a whole? I therefore declare decision 15.com883 adopted as seen on the screens. Egypt, the floor is yours for two minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. And uh, on behalf of the Egyptian government, I would like to express my gratitude and thanks to the committee members for the inscription of the handmade weaving in Upper Egypt on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. This inscription promotes intangible cultural heritage and reinforces our commitment to safeguard, promote, and transmit the elements. Our invaluable recognition would not be possible without the support and efforts of the ruler and urban communities in Upper Egypt who are the bearers of the traditional weaving and its traditional loom, to whom I would like to salute and acknowledge their priceless efforts. I also wish to thank the evaluation body for assessing this nomination, nomination and the international assistance. We value their opinions on the later and we will take them into consideration. Additionally, I want to express our gratitude for UNESCO Secretariat, particularly the culture sector and the living heritage entity who have shown outstanding prof professionalism in organizing this session and was constantly available to respond to member states' needs. Last but not least, Madam Chair, I would like to express our thanks to you for your wise chairmanship and hope that we'll be able to meet soon in presentia. Thank you so much. Thank you, Egypt. Uh, hope to meet you soon in Jamaica. <laughs> Evaluation body, could you please introduce a fourth and last nomination to the urgent safeguarding list. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is Exxon slash Ghana slash OBNs TSI Casago Ancestral Musical Sound Knowledge and Skills submitted by Namibia. Exxon Ghana, Copanus Tasi, Casigo, I'm sorry for the pronunciation. Ancestral musical sound knowledge and skills related to the specific traditional music of the Nama people, one of Namibia's tribal minority groups. The evaluation body considered that the nomination meets all five criteria and in particular appreciated that capacity building efforts will help community members to acquire skills to help them carry out awareness raising programs, providing a strategic framework for further capacity building activities. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends the inscription of this element on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. The evaluation body considers that the state party has requested international assistance from the Intangible Cultural Heritage Fund in the amount of US dollars 99,329 for the implementation of the safeguarding plan for the element. The evaluation body considers that the project improves the, vis the visibility of the element and of living heritage in general, and increase the transmission of music performance skills among young people. The budget includes a detailed description of the specifically itemized expenses. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends the approve 
the international assistance request from Namibia for the implementation of the safeguarding plan for the element and grants the amount of US dollar 99,329 to the state party. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. The Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendment for this file. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt the draft decision on this file as shown on the screens as a whole. I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 15.com 8A4 adopted. Namibia, you are now recognized for two minutes. Madam Chairperson, distinguished committee members and observer, since the Namibian delegation is taking the floor for the first time, let me congratulate you, Madam Chair, on your election as the chairperson of this session and for your excellent stewardship of proceeding since the start. Namibia further thank Jamaica for hosting the session. We enjoyed the level reggae music. On behalf of all Nama speaking community and the Namibian public at large, I'm delighted to accept the inscription of Aikan Tsukana Op Anzi Kasiku, ancestral music, sound knowledge, and skills, onto the list of the intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. At the same time, Namibia will hardly thank this honorable session for approving the international assistance requesting amounting to 100,000 US for safeguarding this volatile element. Namibia further takes note of the recommendation presented by the committee as part of its decision to inscribe the Namibian element. The state commits itself to implementing the recommendation without delay. This commitment is made with an understanding that the element which plays a vital role in the, Nam in the Nama speaking community is on the verge of extension, extension and requires urgent intervention in order to rescue this important heritage. The Namibian government further commits to continue giving priority to the implementation of the 2003 convention, specifically through continued capacity building and proof visibility of the element and living heritage in, the, in general. Finally, Namibia thanks the Secretariat and the expert body for the work they continue to do in ensuring higher standards in evaluating nomination from submitting states. Again, on behalf of the Nama speaking community in Namibia and the entire Namibian citizenry, we thank you for the favorable consideration of Aikan Kana Ob Ansi Kasiku, Asira Music, Sound Knowledge and Skills. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Namibia. Let us now move to the next item 8B. We will now move the nomination submitted by the Republic of Korea. I will now give the floor to the representative of the evaluation body so that the findings of the body on this nomination can be presented to the committee. Mr. Busaidi, the floor is Thank yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is Yandino Gu, Lantern Lighting Festival in the Republic of Korea, submitted by the Republic of Korea. Yangdong Hu Lantern Lighting Festival take place during the fourth month of the lunar calendar. The festival is a time of joy during which social boundaries are temporarily erased. The evaluation body considered that the, nom the nomination meets all five criteria and in particular appreciated the inclusion of a set of safeguarding measures aimed at preventing unintended results of the inscription of the element. This well-prepared file is a good example of how inscription of an element can contribute to ensuring the visibility and awareness of the significance of intangible cultural heritage in general. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends the inscription of this element on the representative list. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you for this detailed explanation of the different issues raised during the evaluation of this file. The Bureau did not receive any requests for debate or amendments for this file. 
May I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision on this file as shown on the screens as a whole. I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B1 adopted. Congratulations, Republic of Korea. You may now take the floor for two minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. At the head of the Eric DJ Agency of the Republic of Korea, I am very pleased and welcome the committee's decision to inscribe Yeon ding -hye. I extend my deepest appreciation to the member states, the Madam Chair, are you with us? I'm hearing you. Okay, it seems we have an issue with uh, Republic of Korea. RIST uh, offers a great opportunity to enhance mutual understanding between countries and deepen their friendship. However, it is not always the case in reality as seen in many recent examples of UNESCO inscription, I do anticipate that the spirit of dialogue of Yeonjunghae will be widely shared, offering inspiration in addressing conflicts between countries. Venerable Wonang is here with me. He would like to add a, a few comments. I would like to express my gratitude to the Madam Chairperson of the committee and to all the members involved in the decision. Today, Today's decision to be inscribed as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity is a great gift to Korea because the Lantern Lighting is a representative culture and festival with the long history of our nation. Let's hope COVID-19 will be overcome quickly through the spirit of the community of the Lantern Lighting Festival, wishing a happy world by lighting up the darkness. And I hope to meet you at the next year's Lantern Lighting Festival in Korea. 오늘 계기로 연동회가 세계인에게 더욱 사랑받는 무형유산이 될수 있도록 연동회의 보존과 발전을 위해 최선의 노력을 다할 것입니다. 여러분의 결정에 거듭 감사드립니다. Starting from today, we'll do our best to safeguard and develop the Lantern Lighting Festival so that it can become an intangible cultural heritage that is loved more by the world. Once again, thank you for your support. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Republic of Korea. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will now give the floor to the representative of the evaluation body so that the findings of the body on the next nomination on the representative list can be presented to the committee. Mr. Busaidi, the floor is Thank yours. You. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is traditional music band from Romania, submitted by Romania. The traditional music band from Romania is an instrumental band formed of a minimum of three players who play the, the melody, harmonic arrangements, and rhythmic harmonic support on three different instruments. There can be more than three instruments in the band, but the number of instruments remain the same. The evaluation body considered that the information provided is not sufficient to determine criteria R1, R2, R3, R4, and R5. 
in particular the information to determine the actual scope of the element being transmitted and does not demonstrate how the inscription of the element would contribute to ensuring the visibility and awareness of the significance of intangible cultural heritage in general. The proposed safeguarding measure shows insufficient information about the methodology applied to involve community members in drafting these measures. Furthermore, the insufficient information about participation of the members of the communities concerned in the nomination process and how initiated the nomination process was not clear. The periodically and modality of updating are not specified for the inventory. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends that this nomination to be referred to the submitting state. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you for this detailed explanation of the different issues raised during the evaluation of this file. The Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendment for this file. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision on this file as shown on the screens as a whole. I see no objection. As there is no objection, I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B2 adopted. <laughs> Romania, you are now recognized for two minutes. Merci, Madame la Présidente. C'est un honneur pour moi, en tant que représentant de la Roumanie, d'intervenir devant le comité. Je tiens aussi à vous féliciter de la manière dont vous remplissez vos importantes fonctions de président de ce comité. La Roumanie a proposé la candidature de l'élément les groupes de musique traditionnels appelés des TARAF en vertu de sa place parmi les plus importantes dans le patrimoine culturel immatériel de Roumanie. De fait, dans la vie de presque tous les jours de nombreuses communautés du pays, ainsi que compte tenu du potentiel indéniable à notre avis de l'élément de faire part de la liste représentative du patrimoine culturel immatériel de l'humanité. D'après nous, l'essentiel de cet élément, très bien saisi par l'organe d'évaluation, auquel nous remercions de son travail laborieux, se situe au niveau de son rôle dans l'encouragement de l'identité culturelle locale, du sentiment d'appartenance à la communauté, de la diversité culturelle, mais également dans le respect mutuel entre les principaux groupes ethniques de Roumanie, comme le dossier le, le mentionne, roumains, hongrois, roms, allemands, slovaques, serbes, tout comme l'importance de la transmission de l'élément en famille, directement, d'une génération à l'autre. Également important, le type de communauté au sein desquelles l'élément est pratiqué, transmis, est devenu représentatif pour les petites communautés rurales de Roumanie, mais même au-delà de ce cadre dans le milieu urbain et en même en dehors de, des frontières roumaines comme source d'inspiration, et tout cela suite à un intérêt d'un public substantiel. Il s'agit ici, à notre avis, d'aspects d'une importance particulière, et les autorités roumaines en tiendront compte attentivement, tout comme elles le feront avec tous les autres aspects mis en évidence dans l'évaluation, lors de la future résoumission de la candidature des groupes de musique traditionnelle de Roumanie. Je vous remercie, Madame la Présidente. Thank you, Romania. Saudi Arabia has withdrawn its file. We will therefore move to the file submitted by Saudi Arabia and Kuwait. Evaluation body, could you please present us the, this file? Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is traditional waving of al Sadu, submitted by Saudi Arabia and Kuwait. Traditional weaving of al sadu refers to the traditional woven textile made by Bedouin women. In Arabic, al sadu means weaving done in horizontal style. The clothes forms tightly woven, durable textile, and the weavers make use of natural fibers found in their natural environment. The evaluation body considered that criteria R1, R4, and R5 met, but that the information provided is not sufficient to determine whether criteria R2 and R3 are satisfied. In particular, the information provided does not sufficiently demonstrate how the inscription would contribute to ensuring the visibility of intangible cultural heritage in general at the local, national, and international levels. Moreover, insufficient information is provided on the fragile balance between traditional craft 
craftsmanship and contemporary artistic application, as well as on the guarantees in place to ensure the fair amount of the profit are turned to the key stakeholders. The nomination does not propose safeguarding measures to respond to these challenges. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends that this nomination be referred to the submitting state. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. For this nomination, an amendment has been tabled by Morocco. Would Morocco like to take the floor at this time? Uh, yes, Madam. Thank you. Merci, Madam la Présidente. Je voudrais uh, d'abord saluer le travail uh, accompli par les organes d'évaluation et, et les remercier parce que C'est énorme ce qu'ils ont fait. Simplement, par rapport à cet amendement, euh, il me semble que, d'abord, je salue euh, la présentation euh, par l'Arabie Saoudite et le Koweït de, ce, de cet élément. Et puis, euh, je salue également l'Arabie Saoudite d'avoir retiré euh, le second élément qu'elle avait présenté pour, euh, à prendre le temps de se mettre en conformité avec les principes et les recommandations de, des organes d'évaluation. Mais je voudrais simplement dire que, Je pense que l'Arabie saoudite a parfaitement interagi avec les organes d'évaluation en fournissant les éléments d'information euh, qui manquaient et, que le, et qui sont justement euh, dans le fond de l'amendement qui a été euh, proposé par le Maroc. Et c'est pour ça que nous estimons opportun euh, de, bien sûr, si les, les, les membres du comité euh, le veulent bien, d'adopter cet amendement parce que, un, il travaille sur les principes et les valeurs de notre convention, et, et, et secondo, il, il assure la promotion et l'autonomisation des femmes, et je pense que c'est extrêmement important, en, en plus de la valeur, bien sûr, du bien, du, 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 de l'élément lui-même. Donc, euh, voilà ce que je voulais dire dans un premier temps, peut-être que je reviendrai tout à l'heure, s'il est nécessaire euh, d'intervenir. Merci, Madame la Présidente. Thank you. Thank you, Morocco. I recognize Kazakhstan, who would wish to intervene, but we will go with the methodology of raising hands. Si vous me permettez, Madame, Madame la Présidente, si vous me permettez, Madame la Présidente, juste pour dire que, que l'amendement est co-sponsorisé par l'Azerbaïdjan, Djibouti, le Kazakhstan, la Côte d'Ivoire, le Panama, le Botswana et le Cameroun. Merci, Madame la Présidente. Thank you, Morocco, for your, your um, comments. I believe we're now ready to move to the adoption of the decision paragraph by paragraph. Can we consider paragraph one adopted? Paragraph one, adopted. Before we move to the examination of the amendments proposed, I believe the Secretariat would like to intervene. Mr. Curtis, the floor is yours. Madam, I'm not sure, um, I didn't ask to intervene. Unless it's to, uh, just to confirm that we did indeed receive, uh, as was stated by the delegation of Morocco, we received the following endorsements of this file from Azerbaijan, Djibouti, Kazakhstan, Côte d'Ivoire, Panama, Botswana, and Cameroon. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. Let us continue with the adoption of paragraph two as a whole. Any objection? Paragraph two. Oh, sorry, madam. I... Please go ahead. Oh, sorry, madam chair. Indeed, uh, this is this is uh, in the same vein as the um, 
the uh, decision on Egypt. The amendments submitted by Morocco concern criteria R2 and R3, as well as powers four and five. And should the committee wish to adopt these amendments, um, the Secretariat would suggest that the committee apply a similar decision as we did for the uh, decision 15.8.3 of Egypt. And the draft decisions, again, will therefore show the power two as initially proposed, while power three will include the amended criteria. Again, we are following the same procedure uh, we, would, we said we would now adopt to be in line with past practice. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Curtis, for this clarification. Let us continue with the adoption of paragraph two as a whole. Any objection? I see no objection. Uh, I'm sorry, I think someone, the member wants to intervene here. Let me see. Jamaica, you're recognized. Please take the floor. Jamaica? Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. Sorry, um, th this was an error. So we will, we will take the floor at an appropriate time, if you so wish. Thank you. So at this point, we will continue with the adoption of paragraph two as a whole. Any objection? I see no objection, adopted. Criterion R2 with the amendment submitted by Morocco, may I ask only those states wishing to support the amendment to raise your hands. I would like to ask the Secretariat to read out the name of those supporting the amendment. Madam Chair, at the moment, the hands I read are China, Japan, Brazil, Republic of Korea, Peru, Jamaica, Sri Lanka, Djibouti, and Djibouti. Uh, Mr. Curtis, have we identified all those uh, support? We see now Rwanda. Please add Rwanda. I believe we are ready, Madam Chair. Thank you. I see that the amendment proposed benefits from a relative active support. Can we therefore adopt the paragraph as amended? Adopted. Could we adopt criterion R3 with the amendment submitted by Morocco? May I ask only those states wishing to support the amendment to raise your hands. I would like to ask the secretary to read out the names of those supporting the amendment. Thank you, Madam Chair. I read Brazil, Republic of Korea, China, Peru, Jamaica, Japan, Djibouti,
Sri Lanka. Rwanda. Secretariat. Um. We yes, I believe uh, you may you may proceed. We have again Brazil, Republic of Korea, China, Peru, Jamaica, Japan, Djibouti, Rwanda, and Sri Lanka. So I see that the amendment proposed benefits from a relative active support. Can we therefore adopt the paragraph as amended? Adopted. We can now adopt paragraph three as a whole. Okay, um, thank you. We can now adopt paragraph three as a whole. No objection? Adopted. We have now adopted all five criteria. So I believe there is no objection to adopt paragraph four as amended. Can we do so now? Adopted. I understand that Czechia wishes to propose an amendment. Please, Czechia, take the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Czechia acknowledges the inscription of Al Sadu to the representative list. Uh, however, together with the evaluation body, we are a little bit concerned about the risks that the two states parties are very well aware of because they stated them very clearly in the nomination file. That's why we would like to support Saudi Arabia and Kuwait in their efforts and we would propose an amendment uh, as a paragraph number five if our committee member colleagues agree with it. And the amendment would read encourages the state's parties to be aware of possible unintended negative results of the inscription and to reflect them together with the threats identified in the file in all their safeguarding efforts. And uh, I can see that uh, there is a uh, proposal that the last paragraph should be deleted about the periodic updating. We would prefer to keep the last paragraph. That's all, thank you. Thank you, Czechia. Can we see the proposal of Czechia on the screen, please?
I would like to ask uh, those members who support the amendment, the proposed amendment, I would like to ask them to raise their hands if they agree. And I'd like the Secretariat to indicate those countries that have raised their hands. Madam Chair, I read the Netherlands, Switzerland, Sweden, Sri Lanka. Madam Chair, I believe the list is as I just read it. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. I see that the amendment proposed does not benefit from a relative active support. Can we therefore adopt the paragraph as initially proposed? We will remove the paragraph as it, it was a new paragraph and move on to paragraph six to paragraph five as we had originally. Here we also have an amendment to paragraph five. Madam Chair, the Netherlands is asking for a point of order. Can I, can I speak? Please go ahead, Netherlands, yes. Thank you. Um, it seems to me now that every amendment needs to have active broad support. And I thought uh, that there could also be amendments uh, supported by only uh, five countries or three or four countries if there were none, no countries opposing. So uh, could, could that rule be explained again? Thank you. Thank you, Netherlands. Mr. Curtis? Madam Chair, Thank I understand uh, the question from the Netherlands, uh, which stated, um, as you mentioned, the decision-making process, as has been done since the decision in uh, Addis Ababa, that for any amendment under items relating to the work of the evaluation body, the Chair will first look for active relative support and should there be an active relative support is understood to be about a third uh, of, of uh, members of the committee and should there not be a consensus among the active relative support, uh, the chair will then look for broad active support, meaning the broad number, the broad part of the committee members. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. I now ask for the adoption of paragraph five. Any objection? No objection? Adopted. Please take the floor.
Okay, Sri Lanka, you have, you have lowered your hand. We can now adopt the entire decision as a whole. Any objection? There is no objection. I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B4 adopted as seen on the screens. Submitting states, the floor is yours for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I would like to thank you, thank the committee members, and thank the evaluation body for their uh, very relevant uh, evaluation that certainly we're going to take into consideration and follow in preserving this very important element. Um, and we have shared a video that we would like to share with you all, and it's going to be short, uh, so you can uh, see with us this beautiful element of Sadhu. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I will now give the floor to the representative of the evaluation body so that the findings of the body on the next nomination can be presented to the committee. Mr. Busaidi, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is Zalkosa pottery making, hand wheel pottery making in the village of Zalkosa submitted by Serbia. Zalkosa pottery making, hand wheel pottery making in the village of Zalkosa relates to the knowledge and the skills involved in making unglazed vessels for ceramic food processing. Moreover, the pottery is closely associated with the village of Zalkosa and its inverness due to its close link with the natural environment which provide the raw material. The evaluation body considered that the nomination meets all five criteria and in particular appreciated that the Potter's Association has established a close cooperation with institutions responsible for the safeguarding of cultural heritage to prevent any negative effects resulting from the inscription. Furthermore, the elements contribute to the preservation of the environment and raising awareness of the importance of environmental safeguarding in the interest of sustainable development. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends the inscription of these elements on the representative list. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you for this detailed explanation of the different issues raised during the evaluation of this file. The Bureau did not receive any. In fact, I understand that Kuwait would like to intervene. You recognize yes, thank you, Kuwait? Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Madam Chair, and the Saudi Arabia and the Kuwait uh, files, there was, should be a video played after the inscription has been done for all the nomination files. I don't know why it's been skipped. And also after that, you know, I need 20 seconds to thank the committee and the evaluation body. So if we can go back and look at the video, please. Thank you. Thank you, Kuwait. Madam Chair. Please go ahead, uh, Mr. Curtis. Just concerning the video, and I understand my colleagues, we only received the video this morning. We, were n we did not have time to, to upload it into the system, um, but perhaps we could find a time later to show it. Uh, once we have found the time. Uh, we apologize, but I think we had informed the submitting state that we were, we were not in a position uh, with a short time in, uh, in order to upload it. So uh, we could do so at a later stage of, of this meeting. Thank you. Okay, can I just say a quick statement, at least in 30 seconds? Uh, uh, please, uh, one moment, Kuwait. Kuwait, uh, we will complete this part of the proceedings and then you will be given the floor. Thank you. Okay. So the Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendments to this file. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision on this file as shown on the screen as a whole. Thank you. 
May I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision on this file as shown on the screens as a whole. I, I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B5 adopted. I'll display this video. Thank you. Thank you. I will now recognize the na obroncima krečnjačke gradine Drežnik, ta krupne granulacije i težine zahteva primenu tehnike građenja posude namotajima. Ručno vitlo je jedina mehanička sprava koja omogućava primenu ove tehnike, što je razlog njegovog opstanka do danas. Ujedno, oblikovanje posuda na ručnom vitlu je jedini korak u procesu proizvodnje zlakuske lončarije, koji ne može biti modernizovan, a da to ne utiče negativno na kvalitet finalnih proizvoda i ne narušava njihovu funkcionalnost. Pečenje se do kraja 20. veka obavljalo na otvorenoj vatri. Dužina pečenja varirala je u zavisnosti od veličine i vrste posuda, kao i od njihove količine, a sudovi su se vadili iz vatre jedan po jedan u trenutku kad pobele. Danas svi lončari imaju peći na drva, a pojedini su počeli da koriste i električne peći. Kvalitet hrane koja se kuva u zlakuskoj lončariji doprineo je da poraste i individualna potražnja, budući da se ove posude mogu koristiti i u kućnim uslovima. Porastom ekološke svesti, keramika u svakodnevnoj upotrebi sve više dobija na značaju, pa tako i potražnja za zlakuskim posudama neprestano raste, a sa njom i broj lončara, kojih danas ima preko 30, od kojih je većina ispod 40 godina starosti. I will now recognize Kuwait. Please go ahead. Thank you, Madam Chair. <clears throat> On behalf of the state of Kuwait, we thank the committee, UNESCO, the evaluation body, and our nominating submitting partner, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, for the inclusion of El Sadu to the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage. With a special thanks to the nominating body in Kuwait, the National Council for Culture, Arts, and Letters, and the ICH team, as well as the five partners and community guardian of teaching SEDU, the SEDU House, and all those who contributed to the nominating this file with their time and consents and their expertise. With a special thanks and dedication to the master weavers keeping this tradition alive, as well as those interested in learning as SEDU so that we may have pride, pride in it for decades to come, inshallah. Thank you all. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Kuwait. I will again give the floor to the representative of the evaluation body so that the findings of the body on the next nomination can be presented to the committee. Mr. Busaidi, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is Haukar Culture in Singapore, Community Dining and Culinary Practices in a Multicultural Urban Contest submitted by Singapore. The next file, how cultures in Singapore, community dining and culinary practice in a multicultural urban context is present throughout Singapore as a social space that embraces people from diverse socioeconomic backgrounds. How care centers play a crucial role in enhancing community interactions and strengthening the social fabric. The evaluation body considered that the nomination meets all five criteria and wishes to command the state party for de devising creative ways to encourage the active participation of the communities concerned in the nomination process. From the very outset, the body also appreciated that safeguarding measures effectively foster dialogue, creativity, and sustainability. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends the inscription of this element on the representative list. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you for this detailed explanation of the different issues raised during the evaluation of this file. The Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendments for this file. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision on this file as shown on the screens as a whole.
I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B6 adopted. Congratulations, Singapore. You may now take the floor for two minutes. Um, I see where you, you may be having your video played. Please go ahead uh, with the video, Secretary. Singapore is tremendously honoured to have our hawker culture as our very first inscription on the UNESCO representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. I wish to thank the evaluation body for your favourable recommendation, as well as the Intergovernmental Committee for your support and endorsement of the inscription. Singapore's hawker culture is a source of pride for Singapore and all Singaporeans. It reflects our living heritage and multiculturalism and is an integral part of the daily lives of everyone in Singapore, regardless of age, race or background. I thank all our hawkers and all Singaporeans for their overwhelming support of this nomination. Today's inscription reminds us of the values of resilience, adaptability and unity, which have become even more important this year in the fight against COVID-19. We pledge to do our part to safeguard our intangible cultural heritage, as well as to contribute to the dialogue and collaboration in line with the spirit of the Convention. Thank you once again to UNESCO for this recognition. Thank you very much. Thank you, Singapore. Having Hong Kong culture recognised as part of UNESCO representative list of intangible cultural heritage is a proud moment for all of us here in Singapore. <laughs> Sebagai penjajah muda yang meminati budaya penjajah, saya berharap keinspirasi UNESCO ini akan memberi inspirasi kepada orang lain untuk bergabung dengan saya dalam menjalankan bahagian penting warisan budaya Singapura ini. Hawker culture is part of what makes Singapore, Singapore. Thank you for the honour of this recognition. Thank you. Thank you. Nandri. Thank you. Thank you. Evaluation body, could you please present us the next file? Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is Wine Hall, submitted by Spain. Los Caballos del Vieno, Wine Horses, takes place each year from 1st to 3rd of May in Caravaca de la Cruz and forms part, and forms part of the fiestas held in honor of the Santa Zima y Vera Cruz in Caravaca. The equestrian ritual consists of a series of events in which the horse is the portagenist. The evaluation body considered that criteria R1, R3, R4, and R5 are met, but that the information provided is not sufficient to determine whether criteria R2 is satisfied. In particular, the nomination fails to convincingly demonstrate how the inscription would contribute to ensuring the visibility and awareness of the safeguard of the significance of similar practices around the world, especially those related to horse or festivals. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends that this nomination be referred to the submitting state. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. For this nomination, an amendment has been tabled by Brazil. Would Brazil like to take the floor? Gracias, Señora Presidenta. Tal y como ya habíamos manifestado, entendemos que el proceso de diálogo ha aportado gran dinamismo al trabajo de evaluación de las candidaturas. Este proceso ha permitido el aumento de inscripciones de candidaturas al superar pequeñas cuestiones técnicas por la vía del diálogo. Sin embargo, aunque el proceso de diálogo ya esté incorporado al trabajo de evaluación, algunas candidaturas con recomendación de referral no han podido beneficiarse de estas consultas y por lo tanto no han podido aclarar el supuesto incumplimiento de algunos de los criterios necesarios. Tal nos parece ser el caso de la candidatura presentada por España, Los Caballos del Vino, de Caravaca de la Cruz. El órgano evaluador ha considerado que la candidatura no había atendido al segundo criterio, R2. Pero consideramos que si la candidatura hubiese podido participar del proceso de diálogo, se habría demostrado 
que este criterio, considerado incumplido por el órgano evaluador, en realidad se cumple. Aunque, na, aunque nada, antes que nada, la candidatura encarna un valor universal y transversal a todas las comunidades del mundo, el respecto a la relación cercana entre el mundo animal y el ser humano. En relación al criterio 2, señora presidenta, con su autorización pediría a la delegación de España si quisiera eh, cómo el elemento contribuye a garantizar la visibilidad y la conciencia de la y la importancia de las prácticas similares en todo el mundo, especialmente las relaciones con los caballos o los festivales. Quería preguntar también, además, cómo la inscripción de este, de este elemento puede contribuir a mejorar el diálogo entre comunidades, grupos e individuos o a fomentar la diversidad cultural y creatividad. Gracias, señora presidenta. Thank you, thank you. I know Poland has asked for the floor, but I will go with the methodology. Also, uh, Spain had asked for the floor, but um, Yeah, so as I indicated before, um, to, to Poland, um, I will go with the methodology. However, Spain as a submitting state, please take the floor. As you have indicated, you wish to do so. Muchas gracias, señora presidenta, y felicidades por su maestría en la dirección de este comité. Efectivamente, agradezco al, al embajador de Brasil que nos permita solicitarme esta, esta intervención porque vamos a compensar la que no hemos podido tener con el órgano evaluador al no concedernos el proceso dialogado que sin duda habría aclarado perfectamente eh, esta pequeña duda que surge, ya que los criterios fundamentales de la candidatura están resueltos. Estamos hablando de una fiesta de más de 300 años que tiene su base de partida en un ritual que viene a, a, a ponerse, a rendirle culto a la naturaleza bendiciendo las flores y eh, los frutos del viñedo y sus derivados. Y que a partir de ahí, sin interrupción, se mantiene por el, las comunidades locales de, de Caravaca en el que se establece un diálogo entre caballistas, entre veterinarios, entre criadores, entre bordadores. Uh, Spain, aquí, se, aquí se enlaza, señora presidenta. Spain, we have a point of order. Uh, Poland, on a point of order, please go ahead. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. I just wanted to ask that, uh, according to the rules of procedure, procedures, a member, a committee member may ask a submitting party a question regarding the nomination, whether the criteria are not fully uh, fulfilled. So for that reason, Poland, as a committee member, wishes to address a question to a state um, a party uh, who is submitting the nomination dossier. And uh, please, uh, if we could follow this uh, rules of procedures, we would love to also uh, have uh, some questions. And for that reason, I would like to give the floor to the expert from my country and uh, would like to raise questions to Spain. Thank you, Madam Chair. May I, Mrs. Chairperson? Excuse me, excuse me. I believe Spain was still answering the question from Brazil. And perhaps afterwards, the chair may wish to give the floor to Poland to ask a question. Thank you. Um, may, um, uh, may I just um, indicate that um, I'm now giving the floor to Spain to complete his presentation. <coughs> Sí. Señora Presidenta, estaba diciendo que hay un diálogo ya establecido entre comunidades en el que intervienen no solo los caballistas, que no cabalgan los caballos, sino que los acompañan, sino la comunidad de veterinarios, bordadores en este caso, criadores y todo, la, todo el personal que participa, que está en diálogo permanente con otras fiestas del mundo. Esto no nace ahora, tiene mucho tiempo y no solamente mezcla los caballos como, como valor simbólico de la, de la simbiosis entre el ser humano y la naturaleza y el caballo, sino que hay un, todo un trabajo de un año de las bordadoras, las mujeres de Caravaca, 
pasan por sus manos su creativa imaginación hasta convertirla en arte. Y esto se va difundiendo también con el resto de comunidades, de manera que imbrica el arte, que imbrica el amor por la naturaleza y que perfectamente está combinado ese respeto por el animal en un mundo como el que estamos en este momento. Ya hay un diálogo establecido con comunidades. No cabe ninguna duda que la, la inscripción en la lista lo que va a hacer es potenciar ese diálogo y dar visión al resto de fiestas del mundo para que tomen interés en torno a ese elemento común que es el caballo para todas ellas. Thank you, Spain. Poland, now you can have, uh, now you can ask the questions you wanted to. Thank you, Madam uh, Chairperson. As assessed by the evaluation body, the festival, together with related knowledge and techniques of work with horses, represents values of high importance for the local community. The tradition has also an impact on broader audiences, especially artists. The element is included in the inventory and a safeguarding plan was elaborated to ensure viability of transmission. As we learn from the file, the initiative to nominate the element came directly from the bearer. Taking into account that communities of bearers are in the center of the convention, we wish to ask the delegation of Spain to explain more in detail which steps will be undertaken to ensure that the inscription would contribute to enhancing dialogue between communities, groups and individuals, as well as promoting cultural diversity and creativity. Thank you. Thank you, Poland. I will now give the floor to Spain to respond. Gracias, Presidenta. Gracias al ilustre representante de Polonia. Efectivamente, estaba intentando explicar antes que el diálogo lo tenemos ya abierto. Como bien ha explicado usted, los criterios principales de esta candidatura están soportados. El criterio que ofrecía dudas y que yo les vuelvo a repetir, que hubiéramos podido, fíjese qué contradicción, se plantea dudas sobre si esto aportará diálogo y, en cambio, quien tenía la posibilidad de ofrecernos el diálogo, que era el gran evaluador, pues por la razón que sea, que respetamos, no nos lo ha ofrecido. Efectivamente, nosotros tenemos ya contacto con otras comunidades del mundo que tienen el caballo como, como, como elemento propio de, 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 de distinción y como elemento sobre el que soporta la fiesta. Eh, todas, cada una, tiene una forma de enfocarlo, pero en la base de partida de Caravaca de la Cruz es el respeto al enfoque multicultural que cada comunidad hace, sea en Oriente Medio, sea en América Latina, donde también hay fiestas de ese tipo, o sea en Asia, porque partimos de que ese encuentro eh, que, cuyo punto de unión va a ser esta inscripción, si se produce, nos va a permitir formar parte de esa red de, 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 de fiestas de, o de declaraciones de patrimonio inmaterial que nos pondrá en contacto con todas ellas y les va además a animar a que, a que de alguna manera trabajen sobre su fiesta, trabajen sobre ese diálogo y podamos establecer esa interrelación descubriendo ya, como le digo, se produce, pero descubriendo que es posible ese diálogo, que el que estamos haciendo ahora de manera amigable y encontrándonos unos a otros, tiene un punto de encuentro, que es la inscripción en, en, la, en la lista de patrimonio inmaterial de la UNESCO. La candidatura está fortalecida, la fiesta tiene 300 años y lleva mmm, casi tres siglos ya buscando a sus pares en otras partes del mundo. A muchos los ha encontrado y a otros piensa encontrarlos con esta inscripción. Hay mucha solidez, hay una comunidad comprometida, hay un gobierno que la respalda y esperamos que sea la UNESCO. Por eso le pido a este comité el apoyo para esta candidatura. Thank you, thank you. I believe we're now ready to move to the adoption of the decision, paragraph by paragraph. Draft decision is on the screen. Can we consider paragraph one adopted? Adopted. Before we move to the examination of the amendments proposed, I believe the secretary would like to intervene. Mr. Curtis, the floor is yours. Madam Chair, I, I don't think I need to repeat that we have made the same proposals as we made for the other files in order to align to previous committee decisions. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Curtis.
criteria, uh, let us continue with the adoption of paragraph two as a whole. Any objection? No objection, adopted. Criterion R2 with the amendment submitted by Brazil. May I ask only those states wishing to support the amendment to raise your hands? I would like to ask the secretary to read out the names of those supporting the amendment. Madam Chair, at this stage I read, Poland, China, Jamaica, Saudi Arabia, Japan, Peru, Republic of Korea, Kazakhstan, Panama, Czechia, Cote d'Ivoire, Sri Lanka, Djibouti, my list ends there at now, thank you. Sorry, Madam Chair, Rwanda. So I can now um, indicate that um, I see that the amendment proposed benefits from broad active support. Can we therefore adopt the paragraph as amended. Adopted. We have now adopted we have now adopted all five criteria so I believe there is no objection to adopt paragraph four as amended. Can we do so? Can we do so now? Adopted. There are no amendments proposed on paragraph five, six, seven, and eight. Could we adopt these four paragraphs as initially proposed? I recognize Poland. Please take the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I just wanted to be a co-sponsor of this uh, decision, and uh, that's why I raised my hand as to follow the methodology with the decision uh, at the point four. So this was the reason that I raised my hand. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Poland. We can now adopt the entire decision. Um, let's go back. There are no amendments proposed. Paragraphs five, six, seven, and eight. So we could adopt these four paragraphs as initially proposed. Sorry, Madam Chair, if I may, Jamaica also wishes to support. We, we raised our hand. Uh, I recognize you, Jamaica. Go ahead, after which I will recognize Morocco. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, we also support the amendment, power four. <laughs> so we'd like to be recognized as such. Thank you. Morocco. Thank Please you, Madam you. Chair. Just yeah, we all we also support uh, the point uh, in paragraph four, please, made by uh, Brazil and COVID. Thank you. Thank you. 
Could we adopt these four paragraphs as initially proposed if there, are, there is no objection? Adopted. We can now adopt the entire decision as a whole. Any objection? I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B7 adopted as seen on the screens. Spain, the floor is yours for two minutes. Muchas gracias, señora presidenta. Quiero de todo corazón agradecer al comité el trabajo que ha hecho, también al órgano evaluador, eh, en nombre de nuestra delegación y en nombre de nuestro gobierno. No sé si había un vídeo dispuesto. En cualquier caso, no quisiera consumir más tiempo porque creo que después de lo dicho, quien tiene que hablar un poco es el alcalde de Calatrava en nombre de la comunidad portadora, que supongo que estará conectado, si ello es posible. Y si ustedes consideran técnicamente que el vídeo se puede pasar perfecto, si no, no queremos generar problemas. Gracias a todos. Eh, gracias, señora presidenta, y le cedería el tiempo que queda al alcalde de Calatrava. Gracias, señor embajador. Señora, señora presidenta, you, eh, muchas gracias. Es un orgullo agradecerles en nombre de todas las mujeres y hombres de Caravaca su apoyo y decirles que es un honor compartir con el resto del mundo nuestro legado más preciado, desde su origen humilde y popular hasta hacer universales los valores a todas las comunidades del mundo, tales como el respeto a una relación cercana entre seres humanos, animales y naturaleza con la expresión artística como lenguaje común del ser humano. Nuestra intención cuando solicitamos la inscripción en la lista de patrimonio cultural inmaterial no era otra que la de compartir valores que se han transmitido de generación en generación, que han evolucionado en respuesta a su entorno y contribuyen a infundirnos un sentimiento de identidad y continuidad, ya que los caballos de vino de Caravaca y la Cruz han sobrepasado el puro acto festivo para convertirse en una de las señas de identidad más importantes de nuestra ciudad. Legado histórico, esencial, elemento vertebrador y unificador de la sociedad. Va a suponer también el enriquecimiento de la diversidad cultural como aspecto clave en el trabajo por la paz, la cooperación, la cohesión social, la integración y el desarrollo sostenible. Supone toser el legado de un pueblo con hilos de pasión, respeto y esperanza y compartirlo con otras culturas del mundo. Muchísimas gracias, estimados honorables miembros del comité. Muchas gracias. Thank you, thank you, Spain. I will now give the floor to the representative of the evaluation body so that the findings on the next nomination can be presented to the committee. Mr. Busaidi, the floor is yours one more time. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is Craftsmanship of Mechanical Watchmaking and Art Mechanics, submitted by Switzerland and France. At the crossroad of science, art, and technology, the skills related to the craftsmanship of mechanical watchmaking and art mechanics are used to create watchmaking objects designed to measure and indicate time, watches, pendulums, clocks, clocks, and chronometer, art automaton, and mechanical androids, scapulars and animated paintings, music boxes, and songbirds. The evaluation body considered that the nomination meets all five criteria. It is a well-prepared file that can serve as a good example of how inscription of an element on the representative list can contribute to ensuring the visibility and awareness of the significance of intangible cultural heritage. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends the inscription of the element on the representative list. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you for this detailed explanation of the different issues raised during the evaluation of this file. The Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendment. So I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision on this file as shown on the screen as a whole.
I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B8 adopted. Congratulations, Switzerland and France. You may now take the floor for two minutes. I, in fact, I understand that there is a video to be played. So I'm asking the Secretariat to proceed. Madame la Présidente, si vous me permettez, je vais prendre la parole une minute et ensuite on verra la vidéo. Au nom des deux États soumissionnaires, la France et la Suisse, nous remercions le comité pour sa décision d'inscription et nous saluons le travail de l'organe d'évaluation. Les savoir-faire en mécanique horlogère et mécanique d'art se situent à la croisée de la technique, des sciences, des arts et de la poésie. Partagé, développé, transmis, valorisé par des artisans, des praticiens, des écoles, des musées, ces savoir-faire participent d'un tissu culturel immatériel commun se traduisant dans les valeurs, l'architecture, le vocabulaire ou les relations sociales. Cette inscription permet de renforcer encore la coopération entre les partenaires franco-suisses pour développer Arcolo Horloger, un projet commun de documentation, de transmission et de valorisation de ces traditions. Nous saluons le travail du groupe de pilotage binational qui a conçu minutieusement cette candidature et rassemblé les nombreux rouages et nous aimerions souligner l'excellente collaboration entre les deux États partenaires qui a reposé sur une dynamique transfrontalière remarquable. And now I invite the Secretariat to screen the short one minute video. Thank you. Thank you. Is the video being played now? Thank you. Thank you, Spain. Thank you. I will now give the floor to the representative of the evaluation body so that the findings of the body on the next nomination can be presented to the committee. Mr. Bu Saidi, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is Sharfia Fishing in the Kana Island is submitted by Tunisia. Sharfia Fishing in the Kirkinana Island is a traditional passive fishing technique that capitalizes on the hydrographic conditions, seabed counters, and natural resources both at sea and on land. The Sharfia is a fixed fishery system consisting of palm founds embedded in the seabed to create a triangle barrier blocking the path of the fish, pulled in by the ape tide and channeling them into capture chambers and finally into a net or a trap. The evaluation body considered that the nomination meets all five criteria. It's appreciated how the file focuses in the interconnections between ICH and the natural environment, contributing to the maintenance of biodiversity, biodiversity and the sustainable use of natural resources. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends the inscription of this element on the representative list. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this detailed explanation of the different issues raised during the evaluation of this file. The Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendment, so I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision on this file as shown on the screens as a whole.
I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B9 adopted. Congratulations, Tunisia. You may now take the floor for two minutes. Merci beaucoup, Madame la Présidente. Je ne sais pas si vous me voyez ou vous m'entendez. Oui. Merci beaucoup, Madame la Présidente. Je voudrais tout d'abord remercier les experts et les membres du comité de cette décision qui nous fait vraiment chaud au cœur. Et je voudrais également associer nos remerciements à l'excellent travail fait par les experts de l'Institut national du patrimoine pour faire aboutir un très beau dossier comme celui-là. La région de Kerkena, qui est une région insulaire au centre de la Tunisie, porte aujourd'hui devant ce comité et devant la communauté internationale une expérience unique de rapport intelligent de l'homme à la nature, un rapport qui s'inscrit dans le respect d'abord de la nature, dans le respect des ressources halieutiques, mais aussi dans une ingéniosité que les experts ont souligné et en s'en félicitent, euh, en ce sens qu'elle est totalement intégrée à la nature, totalement respectueuse de l'environnement et elle montre l'enracinement euh, du rapport humain euh, en rapport respectueux à la nature à la nature. La Tunisie est extrêmement heureuse de cette inscription qui apporte ici une reconnaissance de ce savoir-faire ancestral. Nos historiens le font remonter à, à des dizaines de siècles en arrière et les jeunes générations vont continuer à le porter aujourd'hui que cela est auréolé par la reconnaissance que c'est désormais un patrimoine universel. Nous sommes heureux de porter devant euh, ce comité euh, un dossier qui euh, remplit les cinq conditions, c'est dire que nous sommes à la fois fiers de notre identité nationale, de notre spécificité locale, mais aussi de notre appartenance à la communauté internationale. La Tunisie est un membre actif, passionné, et résolu de cette convention dont nous saluons à la fois les, les porteurs au sein du secrétariat et les membres élus au comité. Merci beaucoup et à une très prochaine inscription, j'espère. Thank you. Thank you, Tunisia. Um, uh, the Oh, uh, Director General, I, I want to welcome you. Uh, I wish you were here with me in Jamaica, but we are communicating across waters. Welcome. Welcome, DG. I will again give the floor to the evaluation body so that the findings on the next nomination can be presented. Mr. Busaidi, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is LF Life's Traditional Irrigation Network System in UAE, Oral Traditions, Knowledge and the Skills of Construction, Maintenance and Equitable Water Distribution submitted by United Arab Emirates. LF Life and the Related oral traditions, knowledge, and the skills of construction, maintenance, and equitable water distribution are a source of pride of the associated communities. Alaflaj is a traditional irrigation system which uses an underground tunnel to conduct water over long distance from an underground source to a basin where the community can access it. After initiating dialogue process, the evaluation body considered that the nomination meets all five criteria. At the international level, Alaflaj is, is an example of human creativity in adapting to the environment through one of the traditional irrigation methods, which along with other such creative methods in many regions of the world, enrich the cultural landscape. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends the inscription of these elements on the representative list. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you for this detailed explanation. The Bureau did not receive any requests for, de for debate or amendment for this file. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision on this file as shown on the screens as a whole. I 
I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B10 adopted. Congratulations, United Arab Emirates. You may now take the floor for two minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. We wish to thank the evaluation body, the committee, and the Secretariat for the work they have carried out. We have shared a short video with the Secretariat, which we hope will be shown and which we are delighted to share with you. Thank you. Thank you. We see the, now see the video. هذا المصطلح الاولي عندنا راعي البلد بن خلا يعتز بن خلا اللي هنا نخل هو من اهل البلد ما عنده نخل من من اهل البلد يسيران وكذا وحتى يوم يبان يدورن بنيه ولا شيء زين حق ولدها ولا شيء راح تصوب الشريعه زين قالت لا تيسي تحطي لي في البيوت وهذا تروحين صوب الشريعه هناك صوب الشريعه بت بتلقين بناتها للبلاد هني ام بغيت من القطار روح شريعه القطاره هم بغيت من هيلي روح شريعه الهيلي هم بغيت من العيني روح شريعه العيني العيني ونشرب من داودي اول ولوف ما شيء بيبات ما شيء ماي مسافه ما شيء الناس تجيب عروسها طبخ عروسها غسيل يروحوا الفلايه يتغسلوا ويتسبحون من الفلايه هذا العمود العمود ده عامل له ارقام من تحته من هنا لهنا الى هنا الى هنا الى غايه بدايه طلوع الشمس زي ما مثلا ظله في ناس قال لك والله شو اسمه ما تلك الفلك قال الفلك قام تحمر الشمس تحمر الشمس تطلع من وراء من على الجبال هذيلا وتحمر وتشخشخت الجبال من هناك هذا له باده يسمونه Thank you. Congratulations again, United Arab Emirates. I will now give the floor to the representative of the evaluation body so that the findings of the body on the next nomination can be presented to the committee. Mr. Vice Chairperson of the evaluation body, the floor is yours. Merci, Madame la Présidente. Le prochain dossier est un dossier multinational soumis par les Émirats arabes unis et Oman. L'élément proposé est la course de dromadaires, pratiques sociales et patrimoine festif associé aux dromadaires. La course de dromadaires est une pratique sociale populaire des deux États partis. L'élément est un pan important majeur de la vie de leur mode de vie nomade ainsi qu'une source d'inspiration et de créativité dans la poésie et la chanson. Après avoir initié un processus de dialogue sur le critère R4, l'organe d'évaluation a estimé que la candidature répond aux cinq critères. L'organe a noté que la pratique de l'élément permet aux membres des communautés de communiquer et de consolider leurs liens sociaux tout en renforçant la cohésion sociale et les sentiments de fierté. Ainsi, L'organe d'évaluation recommande l'inscription de la Cour de dromadaires pratiques sociales et pratiquement festives associées aux dromadaires sur la liste représentative. Je vous remercie, Madame la Présidente. Thank you. Thank you for this detailed explanation of the different issues raised during the evaluation of this file. The Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendment. Therefore, I ask the committee to adopt draft decision on this file as shown on the screen as a whole. I see no objection. 
I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B11 adopted. Congratulations, submitting states. You may now take the floor for two minutes. I also understand that there is a video to be played. Please go ahead. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Uh, for this, we also have a video to share. Thank you. Thank you. is among the sports that has long been popular among communities, groups and individuals in the United Arab Emirates and the Sultanate of Oman. وهذا التراث هو تراثنا العريق اللي كان لنا دعم مادي ودعم معنوي. Camel trainers have specific skills for training and qualifying camels for the race, including training them to follow instructions and commands during the race. Breeders and trainers are keen to pass on their knowledge and experience in raising and training camels to their children and grandchildren. Winning a camel race is a joy shared by everybody in the community, all of whom gather together to watch and enjoy the races. Enthusiasts of all ages attend or follow races on television. Thank you again, congratulations. I will now give the floor to the representative of the evaluation body to give us the findings on the next nomination. Mr. Busaidi, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is Budima dance submitted by Zambia. The Budima dance is a warrior dance performed all year round by the we people on a number of samba and spiritual occasions, especially during traditional ceremonies, funeral processes, weddings, initiation ceremonies, the installation of chiefs, thanksgiving, harvest celebrations, and ritual activities. The dance is performed with spears, whistles, walking sticks, knobkeries, flutes, ceremonial axes, shields, horns, trumpets, drums, and rattles. The evaluation body considered that the nomination meets all five criteria and noted that the element serves a, unif a unifying role for people from different communities. The state party has demonstrated that both the local communities and the state itself have supported the dance and enhanced the visibility through general and the specific safeguarding measures. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends the inscription of these elements on the representative list. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you for this detailed explanation. The Bureau did not receive any requests for debate or amendment for this file. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision on this file as shown on the screens as a whole. I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B 12 adopted. Congra congratulations, Zambia. You may now take the floor for two minutes. Madam Chair, let me start thanking, let me start by thanking the chairperson for convening this meeting and also congratulate the secretariat for arranging the meeting despite the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak. 
Zambia is grateful for having their Budima dance element recognized on the list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. The Budima dance is practiced by the Wei people of the Zambezi Gwembe Valley in the southern province of Zambia. The Budima dance was previously a war celebratory dance, but currently the dance is used for entertainment at weddings, funerals, installation of chiefs, traditional leaders, and at public and state functions. The recognition of the dance will go a long way in the preservation and promotion of the dance. The Zambian government will continue giving the moral, social, administrative and economic support for the sustainability of the dance. Once again, we thank UNESCO for the support, the platform and the forum, which will help us in the preservation and promotion of our intangible cultural heritage in the country. I thank you, Madam Chairperson. Thank you, Zambia. With Algeria having withdrawn its file, I will now give the floor to the representative of the evaluation body so that the findings of the body on the multinational nomination submitted by Algeria, Mauritania, Morocco, and Tunisia can be presented to the committee. Mr. Boussaidi, the floor is yours again. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is knowledge, know-how and practices pertaining to the production and consumption of couscous submitted by Algeria, Mauritania, Morocco, and Tunisia. The knowledge, know-how, and the practice pertaining to the production and consumption of couscous encompasses the methods of preparation, manufacturing conditions, and tools, associated artifacts, and circumstances of consumptions of couscous in the communities concerned. The non-culinary aspects of the element, namely rituals, oral expression, and certain social practices are also transmitted by barriers. Couscous is a dish reply with symbols, meanings, and cultural dimension all linked to solidarity, conviviality, sharing meals, and togetherness. The evaluation body considered that the nomination meets all five criteria and in particular appreciated the clear and consistent description of the element, taking into account aspects ranging from the preparation process to manufacturing conditions and tools, associated artifacts and conception practices. This well-prepared file is a good example of how the inscription of an element can contribute to ensuring the visibility and awareness of the significance of intangible cultural heritage in general. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends the inscription of this element on the representative list. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. The Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendment on this file. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision on this file as shown on the screen as a whole. I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B14 adopted. Congratulations to the submitting states. His Excellency Mrs. Malika Ben Douda, Douda, and I will repeat, His Excellency Mrs. Malika Ben Douda, Minister of Culture and Arts of Algeria, will at this time take the floor. Minister, please make your presentation and um, you're asked to do so in two minutes. Thank you so much. Uh, Minister or uh, Tim, go ahead. 
Alors, je, voulais dire, je voulais prévenir l'Algérie, on ne vous entend pas. Est-ce que votre microphone est bien allumé While we are awaiting um, the minister's uh, intervention, I, th ma I Madame, would invite. I think, I think we have her. Okay. L'Algérie, nous n'avons pas de, de son de votre part. So can we take Tunisia would like to to take the floor as well as Morocco. Can we do do so while we um, try to get the technical problems solved. Madam Chair, let, let us try to fix the technical problems, if you will. I think we almost have them. We'll just check with Algeria. Or do we have to wait until Yes, please. Algeria's... Maybe we could have a reggae chill moment. I'm not sure, but we will start. Just one yes, minute. that's an excellent idea. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is going to be all right. We're doing good so far, are we? Je, je, voulais, je voudrais savoir si la, la ministre, la, Madame la Ministre de la Culture de l'Algérie nous entend. Okay, but, uh, Madame Chair, let us have a reggae chill moment, if you, if you will. Yes, we're going to give you some reggae. <laughs> right at this moment, yes. Uh, Jamaica supports that wholeheartedly. Chair. Madame, Madame la Ministre, vous nous entendez? Yes, I'm hearing you. It's the other Minister of Culture I'm asking. <laughs> Madame la Ministre de la Culture de l'Algérie, est-ce que vous m'entendez Est-ce que vous pouvez faire signe si vous m'entendez Oui. Prendre la parole peut-être pour voir si... Sing it, be 
Allô Allô Oui, bonjour, on vous entend. Vous, vous m'entendez Oui. <rire> Très bien, c'est la ministre de la Culture et des Arts. Welcome, ministre. Please go ahead, uh, Minister of Algeria, please go ahead, Minister Ben Daouda. Okay, okay Thank merci, you. thank you. السيدة أوليفيا غرانج رئيسة اللجنة الحكومية لحفظ التراث الثقافي الغير المادي أعضاء اللجنة الحكومية أعضاء لجنة التقييم أود أن أعبر عن شكري وامتناني للجنة الحكومية لحفظ التراث الثقافي غير المادي باسم الشعب الجزائري وشعوب المنطقة المغاربية إن الكسكس طبق اللقاء وطقس مهم في تراثنا رافق إنسان المنطقة منذ مئات السنين وما يزال لقد عبر عن عبقرية استغلال الطبيعة والحفاظ عليها والإبداع في تدوير منتجاتها لصالح الإنسان نفخر اليوم أن نسجل طبق المحبة كثرات عالمي 
أحيي الدول الشقيقة التي منحت ثقتها للجزائر في الإشراف على تنسيق هذا الملف في مختلف مراحله بغرض الوصول إلى هذه النتيجة السعيدة يرجع تاريخ الكسكس إلى فترة 148 قبل الميلاد حيث عثر على أواني طبخ تشبه تلك المستخدمة في تحضير الكسكس في مقابر تعود إلى فترة الملك ماسينيسا إن تنوع أشكال تحضير الكسكس تحيلنا على فضيلة إنسانية وهي التعدد والاختلاف وقد أقر به أجدادنا منذ فجر التاريخ على غرار باقي دول المغرب العربي المشاركة في عرض ملف مشترك بغرض تسجيل العنصر المتعلق بالمعارف والمهارات والممارسات المرتبطة بإنتاج واستهلاك الكسكس على لجنتكم الموقرة فإن الجزائر التي كانت دوما أرضا خصبة بإنتاجها الوافر للقمح لعصور قديمة خاصة خلال الفترة النوميدية كانت ضمن الدول السباقة لنشأة هذا الطبق الذي هو نتاج عمل صناعي تحويلي للبذرة إلى طعام شهي وغني يرتبط الكسكس بالشكر بالفرح بالصبر بالاحتفاء بالإكرام وبقيم أخرى شكرا لكم مرة أخرى Thank you, Minister. Thank you so much. I will now recognize Thank Tunisia. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Madame la Présidente. Permettez-moi de partager avec vous un grand moment de fierté, de fierté, non seulement en tant que Tunisien, mais en tant que Maghrébin. Le Comité vient d'inscrire un élément. Euh, fondateur de notre maghrébinité et je dirais même un marqueur de notre identité. Euh, il ne s'agit pas seulement d'un plat, il ne s'agit pas seulement d'une graine, mais il s'agit aussi d'un mode de vie, d'une organisation de nos sociétés autour de ce plat. C'est un plat qui nous accompagne tout le long de la vie, dans des moments de bonheur, mais aussi dans des moments de tristesse et de deuil. C'est un vrai marqueur de la maghrébinité. Nous sommes aujourd'hui extrêmement émus du fait que nos pays aient pu transcender des lectures par moments différenciées, mais jamais éloignées, et montrer que l'UNESCO a une vertu. Elle est un lit vers lequel les confluents peuvent aller pour se rencontrer, pour reconnaître leur propre identité. Ce n'est pas une histoire d'un plat, même si c'est ce qu'on vient d'inscrire ou presque. C'est un élément de la culture. Et aujourd'hui, ce plat qui déborde du cadre maghrébin, puisque tout le monde sait qu'il est apprécié sur des tables éloignées du Maghreb, est aujourd'hui un élément de la circulation de nos cultures, du local, du régional vers l'universel. Il n'y a pas mieux, ou on va dire c'est l'un des meilleurs éléments que cette convention puisse nous donner à inscrire. Je suis fier en tant qu'ambassadeur de Tunisie, je suis fier d'avoir porté il y a deux ans ce dossier avec mes collègues et je suis fier de représenter mon pays à l'UNESCO, cette organisation qui nous permet des moments de transcendance et de reconnaissance. Je suis absolument aujourd'hui bouleversé par la vertu du multilatéralisme appliqué dans le bon sens, à savoir la culture et l'universel. Nous vous donnons rendez-vous vers d'autres inscriptions, y compris intra- et inter-maghrébines. Merci beaucoup et à très, très bientôt. Thank you, Tunisia. Morocco, please state the Merci. Merci, Madame la Présidente. Je souhaite... Euh passer la parole à Monsieur le ministre Hotman Ferdaos, ministre de la Culture, de la Jeunesse et des Sports du Royaume du Maroc, qui est en ligne avec nous pour un mot de remerciement. Monsieur le ministre, je vous en prie. Merci, merci pour euh, cette occasion. Euh, Thank. Thank vous you. Vous entendez Mar Mauritania. I'm sorry, the minister is speaking. Voilà. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Morocco, you gave the floor to your minister. Yes. Yes. Voilà. Okay. Alors je commence. Uh, minister, je... please go ahead. Okay. Vous m'entendez là? Oui, parfait. 
Alors euh, d'abord, c'est un grand jour. Hein. Je voudrais partager la, la joie de mes collègues algériens, tunisiens et, et, et mauritaniens. C'est vraiment une, une très belle nouvelle et comme l'a dit M. le ministre de Tunisie, c'est vrai que ça fait du bien finalement de voir un multi, multilatéralisme dans le bon sens, un multilatéralisme vertueux et ça fait du bien de se rassembler ensemble autour de, de, de ces valeurs de partage. Alors, dans, cette, dans la civilisation du blé qui a dominé une très grande partie de, de, de l'hémisphère, évidemment, cette région du Maghreb a apporté sa petite variance. Et cette variance qui a été apportée, c'est celle du couscous, dont on sait qu'il a vraiment une, une, une très grande part donnée à la préparation, qui est une préparation communautaire, solidaire. Et je crois que je ne sais plus quel euh, historien ou euh, auteur euh, au XVIIe siècle avait décrit les peuples du, du Maghreb comme « halq al-ru'us, akl al-couscous wa lebs al burnous » Euh, ce qui signifie euh, les crânes rasés, mangeurs de couscous, porteurs de burnous. Et je crois que c'était une, il me semble que c'est une situation apocryphe de Ibn Khaldun ou de Lassen Yussi. Mais l'idée, c'est que euh, derrière cette consommation, il y a, y a vraiment un plat euh, amazir, un plat africain. Et avant euh, de... Et c'est un plat qui a voyagé également, parce que c'était au départ un plat africain qui se consommait un peu comme le riz, c'est-à-dire en, en, en side, c'est-à-dire à part du plat principal. Et puis ce plat a voyagé avec les Berbères en Andalousie, et il nous est revenu avec ce, cet, cet assortiment de légumes, de viande, parfois de raisins secs par-dessus. Et donc c'est un plat qui a voyagé, qui est parti africain, qui est revenu andalou ou européen. Et donc c'est vraiment un exemple de ce patrimoine universel qu'on qu a tous en partage. Et ça fait vraiment du bien de, de, de l'avoir tous ensemble, nord, sud et puis est, ouest. Je voudrais dire aussi que euh, transcender les frontières grâce à la cuisine et à la gastronomie ou la diplomatie gastronomique, c'est quelque chose qui est euh, vraiment encore devant nous. Euh, je crois qu'il me reste à présenter les, 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 mes, mes remerciements les plus chaleureux au comité intergouvernemental du patrimoine de la culture immatérielle qui a décidé d'inscrire le couscous et surtout mes remerciements à l'organe d'évaluation qui a étudié et recommandé l'inscription de ce dossier multinational et également je voudrais dire que le Maroc s'engage à préserver vraiment avec beaucoup d'ardeur ce savoir, ce savoir-faire, ces pratiques parce qu'il y a beaucoup d'oralité dans les gastronomies maghrébines et donc il y a cette, cette notion d'essayer de préserver les savoirs qui, malgré leur oralité, euh, doivent être transmis. Et donc, euh, c'est dans la transmission qu'on va trouver l'universalité de, de tout cela pour les générations futures. Donc voilà, je suis très heureux et je, je félicite euh, tous mes collègues ainsi que tous les participants à, à cette réunion. Merci à vous. Thank you, Minister. Thank you. I will now recognize Mauritania. Thank you, Sir President. Euh, pour la Mauritanie, euh, de toute façon, euh, il nous plaît de savoir que votre honorable comité a inscrit ce dossier qui nous est très cher, les savoirs, savoir-faire et pratiques liées à la production et à la consommation du couscous au comité du patrimoine mondial. Nous saluons le travail accompli par le comité d'évaluation nous saluons le travail accompli par tout le comité euh, d'adoption. Nous saluons le travail et félicitons celui réalisé par les experts des différents pays euh, concernés, qui sont des pays amis et frères, voisins, qui ont une histoire séculaire commune et un mode de vie commun, dont la preuve aujourd'hui, euh, ce plat culinaire qui nous est très cher. Permettez-moi, euh, parce que c'est notre expert, qui m'a rappelé euh, de dire cela, euh, d'avoir une pensée particulière euh, à l'expert marocain, M. Mustafa Nami, qui a vraiment accompagné ce dossier et qui malheureusement est disparu avant de voir ce dossier aboutir. Euh, nous nous félicitons donc de cette coopération sous-régionale maghrébine qui mettra sans doute en valeur et contribuera à la préservation du savoir-faire des os et coutumes liées à cette spécialité culinaire maghrébine et euh, qu'on que, qu veillera à ce qu'elle soit universelle, Inch'Allah. Je vous remercie infiniment. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Congratulations to all. I will now ask the evaluation body to make its next presentation to the committee. Mr. Busaidi, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is the shimame submitted by Argentina. Shimame is a form of popular cultural expression that is mainly practiced in the Corrientes province. Its key components include a style of clothes, embarrass, dancing, where participants sold each other chest to chest and follow the music without set choreography. Shimame hi highlights values such as love for one's lands, local fiona and flora, religious devotion, and a way of being. A general expression pointing the harmony between the human, nature, natural, and spiritual realms. The evaluation body considered that the nomination proposes a wide variety of, of safeguarding measures, including the promotion of new species and the enhancement of existing ones, transmission of the related knowledge and know-how, informal education, promotional and preservation activities, support for the creation of new music productions and research, and identification measures. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends the inscription of the elements on the representative list. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you for this detailed presentation on this file to the committee. The Bureau did not receive any requests for debate or amendment on this file. So I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision as shown on the screens as a whole. I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B15 adopted. Congratulations, Argentina. You may now take the floor for two minutes or have your video played. Muchas gracias, señora presidenta, por la conducción de esta reunión y por hacernos visitar Jamaica tan querida, al menos espiritualmente. Gracias al comité, a sus miembros y al órgano evaluador por haber hecho posible esta inscripción tan esperada del chamamé en la lista representativa. Gracias también a Ernesto Tone a Tim Curtis y a sus maravillosos equipos por habernos acompañado a lo largo de este camino y también a nuestra directora general aquí presente por su trabajo incansable para hacer que la cultura en todas sus expresiones, su promoción y protección sean una realidad tangible. Los invitamos ahora a compartir un breve saludo de nuestras autoridades nacionales y provinciales y una pequeña muestra de la comunidad chamamecera que hoy está de fiesta. Muchas gracias. Agradezco en nombre del pueblo argentino a la UNESCO. El chamamé es ahora patrimonio inmaterial de la humanidad. Nacido en nuestra querida provincia de Corrientes, en la Argentina, ahora se puede proyectar al mundo para poder ser disfrutado por los ciudadanos y ciudadanas de toda la humanidad. Hoy es un día histórico para nuestra música y para el ser correntino, porque el chamamé, nuestro chamamé, ha sido declarado como Patrimonio Cultural Inmaterial de la Humanidad por la UNESCO. Felicito a todos los que hicieron posible este logro de la cultura de Corrientes y de Argentina, pero fundamentalmente a los compositores, músicos, recitadores y bailarines que nos representan en todo momento y lugar, generando sentimientos únicos que nacen de lo profundo de nuestro corazón. Y que hasta entre ríos llegue por el río 
Thank you. Thank you. I will now ask congratulations, Argentina. I will now ask the evaluation body to present its findings on the next nomination to the committee. Mr. Busaidi, the floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is Narbi Rami, traditional pomegranate festivity and culture submitted by Azerbaijan. Narbi Rami is an annual festival in October, November in Azerbaijan, Guyuchai region that celebrates the pomegranate and its traditional use in symbolic meanings. Pomegranate culture is a set of practice, knowledge, traditions, and skills related to the cultivation of the fruit, which is used not only in a range of culinary contexts, but is also referred to in crafts, decorative arts, methods, storytelling, and other creative outlets. The element is linked to local agriculture and to the farmers and individuals in rural communities that grow and collect the fruit. The evaluation body considered that the nomination meets all five criteria and in particular appreciated that the inscription would raise awareness about other elements of local traditional culture based on agricultural practices. This well prepared file is a good example of how the inscription of an element can contribute to ensuring the visibility and awareness of the significance of intangible cultural heritage in general. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends the inscription of this element on the representative list. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Mr. Busaidi. The Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendment on this file. I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision as shown on the screens as a whole. I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B16 adopted. Congratulations, Azerbaijan. You may now take the floor for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Dear members of the committee, Azerbaijan would like to express its gratitude to the committee for having just inscribed Narbayrama, traditional pomegranate festivity and culture, on the representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. We would also like to thank the evaluation body for its evaluation and careful examination of this nomination. The pomegranate culture plays an important role within the entire society in Azerbaijan. Forever Azerbaijani, the pomegranate that we call Nar is a symbol of culture and love, a marker of identity and cultural belonging. Communities see in pomegranate symbols of unity, integrity and diversity, dynamism and perfection. Traditionally held in Gürcay region of Azerbaijan every year, the Nar Bayrami festivity represents for communities a moment of special pride and celebration of centuries old traditions and we would like to congratulate the local community and local authorities of Gürcay on this occasion. We would like to thank also the stakeholders involved in this preparation of the file, especially the communities, local authorities, as well as non-governmental organizations who have made a huge effort to focus on safeguarding of the pomegranate culture and will continue to partner to safeguard the element and transmit it to the next generation. Thank you very much. Thank you and congratulations. I now, now will give the floor to Mr. Vusaidi to give us the findings on the next nomination. Mr. Vusaidi, Thank the floor you. is yours. The next file, Arts of Miniature, submitted by Azerbaijan, the Islamic Republic of Iran, Turkey, and Uzbekistan. The miniature is a type of two-dimensional artwork that involves the design and creation of small painting on box, paper mache, rags, textile, walls, ceramics, and other items using raw materials such as gold, silver, and various organic substance. Historically, the miniature was ex exemplified by book painting in which 
the text was supported visually, but the element has evolved and can also be observed in architecture and as an adornment in public spaces. The evaluation body considered that the nomination meets all five criteria and in particular appreciated the establishment of a collaborative network involving entities from all the submitting state during the preparation of the multinational nomination. Furthermore, the state parties support safeguarding measures centering on transmission and viability, visibility and awareness rising, international cooperation, academic activities and documentation, and training programs to enhance the practice. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends the inscription of this element on the representative list. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Mr. Busaidi. The Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendments for this file. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision on this file as shown on the screens as a whole. I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B17 adopted. Congratulations to the submitting states. I understand there is a video to be played. Uh, I'd ask the secretary to proceed to play the video. Thank you. On the 19th century, the Azərbaycan miniatür sənətinin də inkişafında hərəkət başladı. Müasir dövrümüzdə də Azərbaycanda miniatür sənəti yenə də davam etdirilir və bu ənənələrə sadiq qalan bir çox həmkarlarımız var və biz birlikdə bu miniatür sənətini yaşatmağa çalışırıq. The art of miniature is called negargari in Iran and is deeply rooted in the Iranian culture and literature. حسخار و روحیه ایرانی گل و مرد ساختن ادبیات ما مملو و از گل و پرنده است. The Shahna May books by Hafiz, Saadi and Nazami are illustrated by Negargari. Negargari is also part of the modern Iranian art. Miniature is the art of illustrating stories, events or knowledge by a method of painting. In Ottoman era, this art was called nakis or tazvir and its practitioners were called nakas. In Turkey, the element is widely known and practiced all across the country, as a part of cultural and historical identity. Будучи монументальным, в конце XIV, в первой половине XV века изобразительное искусство становится миниатюрным. Теперь в буквальном смысле можно было прикоснуться к прекрасному. При нанесении цвета миниатюрист проходит каждой краской по всему рисунку поочередно. То есть, прописав все детали композиции одним цветом, переходит к предметам другого цвета. Uh, thank you. Congratulations again. I will now ask Mr. Busaidi to take the floor to present the findings of the evaluation body on the next nomination. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is Traditional Art of Nakshi Konatha Embroidery submitted by Bangladesh. Nakshi Konatha is an embroidered quilt with a Pictorial design and or floral pattern con conveying its surface on either side. Nakshi Kanatha serves a number of functions and can be used as a floor mat, a wearable wrap, a bag, or a given as a gift. Each category has its own specific name. The evaluation body considered that criteria R1 is met, but that denomination provided is not sufficient to determine whether criteria R2, R3, R4, and R5 are satisfied. In particular, the nomination failed 
to explain how the inscription of the element would contribute to ensuring the visibility and awareness of the significance of intangible cultural heritage in general. Moreover, the state party does not sufficiently demonstrate how the communities were involved in planning the proposed safeguarding measures or how the safeguarding measures support the activities of female embroideries. Furthermore, the nomination does not provide clear information on the name of the inventory and periodic city or modality of updating of the inventory. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends that this nomination be referred to the submitting state. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you for the detailed explanation of the findings during the evaluation of this file. The Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendment for this file. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision as shown on the screens as a whole. I see no objection and therefore declare Decision 15.com 8B18 adopted. Bangladesh, you are now recognized for two minutes. Thank you. Bangladesh, you may take the floor. I assume Bangladesh is not connected, so I will move on to the next file and give the floor to Mr. Busaidi for him to present the findings of the evaluation body on the next nomination. Mr. Busaidi. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next file is Grass Mowing Competition Custom and Capras, submitted by Bosnia and Herzegovina. The most important social event in the Kapras municipality is the annual Mawin competition that takes place in July at a specific meadow called Istarajanaika, which is also the local name of the custom. The contest involves the manual mowing of grass using a season and judge by the time, effort, and amount mounts as cutting grass at that altitude requires strength and special techniques. After initiating a dialogue process, the evaluation body considered that the nomination meets all five criteria. The file demonstrates that the inscription of the Maui competition custom and corpus would further raise awareness among the local population of the values the element carries in terms of the overall life and development of their local community and area. In conclusion, the evaluation body recommends the inscription of this element on the representative list. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Mr. Busaidi. The Bureau did not receive any requests for debate or amendment for this file. I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision as shown on the screens as a whole. I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 15.com 8B19 adopted. Congratulations to Bosnia and her Zagovina. You may now take the floor for two minutes. Thank you very much, distinguished Madam Chairperson. Can I speak? Excuse me. Do you allow me? Distinguished Madam Chairperson, distinguished committee members, speaking on behalf of the community that inherits the custom of moving in Kupres. I would like to thank everyone who recognized the importance of the work of the local community and gave their support to their efforts to safeguard the tradition.
inscription on the national list and in particular inscription on the UNESCO list contribute to raising awareness not only of the importance of intangible heritage but also of the importance of its further activities and transmission to young people. This is a recognition of Bosnia and Herzegovina, but more than that, it is an incentive for the residents of the small town of Kupres to continue to inherit their tradition, which is deeply imbued with the nature that surrounds them. The custom of moving is felt by the people of Kupres as a very valuable tradition, a part of their identity and they try to safeguard it despite the numerous obstacles brought by the modern way of life. In these conditions, safeguarding of intangible heritage plays significant role. It raises to quality of life, encourages creativity, brings cultures together and generates intercultural cooperation and dialogue. Thanks again to everyone and I wish you successful continuation of your work. Thank you, and congratulations again. Uh, Director General, Assistant Director General, ladies and gentlemen, before we finish the session, I would like to remind you that the Bureau will meet again tomorrow at 1 p.m. Paris time. As we have done previously, we will meet at the same Zoom link as the main meeting. I invite the vice chairpersons and rapporteur to join us by 1 p.m. so that we may start promptly. Finally, I would like to let you know that as we close, we will be showing the video from Saudi Arabia and Kuwait for their file, Traditional Weaving of Al Sadu. This will be followed by some more reggae music. I really hope you enjoy it. And I want to thank you so much for your Asadu cooperation and participation today. Across the Arabian it was wonderful. Asadu. I declare today's session adjourned. Asadu is the traditional weaving practiced across the Arabian Peninsula. Asadu in Arabic means the weaving that is formed in a horizontal style. The loom used in the weaving is also called asadu. The traditional weaving of asadu is practiced by the ladies across the Gulf countries and the Middle East. Asadu is practiced across the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Kuwait, among Bedouin tribes who settle in several parts of the country. Asadu was created by the Bedouin tribes in the past as part of their livelihood in the desert climate. The materials used to make asadu came from their surrounding environment. Their weaving techniques created thick and durable panels which are used to build tents and other products that help them in their daily living. <laughs>